another hosting vlog. If y'all are new here, hi, my name is Kinsey. I make like lifestyle vlogs and I love hosting. You may have seen my hosting closet on TikTok. It's spectacular. So I'm actually hosting my grandmother's birthday tomorrow and it's a lunch, but it's the same thing as like if I was prepping for a dinner party. I have the menu made. I have a lot of errands to run today. So the party is tomorrow at 3 p.m. Never in my life have I um, half asked anything that I actually like. Like if I like something, I can't ever just kind of like it. I'm obsessed. It's like everything to me. Hence the hosting closet. Hence like pretty much everything in my life, right? So anyways, I'm going to take you guys along on the entire process from start to finish, except for it's not really star I should have filmed when I made the like Pinterest board and got the like mood board vibe she came over and basically we went through a Pinterest board she gave me kind of a theme that she wanted it's kind of like French country but we're I know like her taste and what she likes so I'm just like kind of catering it towards that so on the menu we have watermelon salad we have pasta salad that's the only thing she cared about she loves a pasta salad Ina Gardens engagement chicken I made that for my family and my grandmother who has had quite many chickens in her life so that it was the best chicken she's ever had and she doesn't just hand out compliments like that like she really meant it I put my sister in charge of summer punch so like we'll see if that happens wine we're doing a strawberry shortcake bar I've kind of been prepping and getting things um, the past couple of weeks time is ticking and we are getting started to run today but first things first I'm going to set the table pretty much like I might not do all the like utensils and stuff but I want to do this just to get the vibe get it out of the way and then also just to make sure I don't need to go pick anything up okay so we're having it inside because it's too hot out right now in Texas ignore the flowers changing those today okay so in the hosting closet you guys are new here I have an entire hosting closet I'm really excited about it I just pretty much made this last week so I'm very excited she requested this set I'm gonna like mix and match glasses and then I got these which are cute and also these little gold these gold candlesticks okay okay so there's I think seven of us coming there's gonna be three on this side but it's fine because she's eight so Everything is coming together very nicely. So obviously I'm not done setting up, um, but I'm going to actually wash all these dishes tonight. So I'm not gonna do it all until then. One thing for hosting that I always, always do, I don't have the post-it notes here, so I did like a mental note, is I have all the dishes out that I'm gonna serve with, and I normally will put a post-it note here. So like this will be the chicken, this will be the pasta salad, this will be the watermelon salad, this will be whatever, and that's like the, uh, ricotta thing that I'm making so it makes it a lot easier when you're actually serving, but I love how this is turning out Guys, I just cried to speak now on the way here. So on the agenda, I'm stopping at a wholesale flower shop. I'm on a mission right now to find my go-to favorite wholesale flower shop in Dallas. So I'm trying Mexiflower right now. It's the only one that's really even open on weekends. So I'm gonna pick up some flowers. I need a grocery shop. There was another errand I needed to run. Oh, FedEx, I need to write that down. I made a little like notes app of my to-dos and then my grocery list and then like to-dos I need to do tonight. That's how I keep my life organized. It's very helpful and I'm prepping food today, like a couple things, so it'll just make tomorrow a lot easier. 
kind of a fail. They didn't really have anything. So back to Trader Joe's I go. But if you guys have good racks, let me know. Back to who I trust the most for my flowers, Trader Joe's. I think I'm gonna do my grocery shopping here too because it's cheaper. The selection here is just so good. So many good options. And my Trader Joe's flowers always last so long. Okay, these are stunning. So many, but stunning. Okay, this looks stunning. I have it all. I'm missing a couple things, but I think I might have it at home. That was a very successful Trader Joe's trip. I got so many flowers. They're also like for the week. I just love having flowers. I love making the arrangements. And I always go to Trader Joe's because their flowers are the cheapest and they last the longest. But I need to find a place that's like even cheaper. That's why I want like a wholesale flower shop. Like when I lived in LA, like the downtown LA, like flower market or whatever it was. I haven't been there in years, I forget. So anyways, I'm stopping at FedEx. I got pretty much everything I needed at Trader Joe's. I did put in an Instacart order just now because I had credit and I needed a couple more things. I will say I got all of that for $135, which is way cheaper than if I would have gone to Sprouts. I wouldn't have bought all those flowers either at Sprouts, but like I just feel like that's really cheap compared to Sprouts, which is my absolute favorite grocery store and it still is my go-to and they have brands that like I care about. Anyways, I'm stopping at FedEx because I need to get some stuff printed. I want to get name tags printed, a little menus for the tablescape, which like honestly might clash with the look now that I'm thinking about it, but I feel like it just like adds that little extra touch and it's worth it. I'm really having just like the best day. These are so cute. I went to FedEx on Northwest Highway. They were so nice and I got my menus and my name cards. These are templates from a host. You can't really see it that well here, but they're super cute. I'm really happy. stunning these are this is the first one the second one that I made and then these are just tulips and this is a mess but it'll be fine over time I kind of gave up on this one but I'm so happy with them okay the pasta salad for tomorrow is ready I made the California spaghetti pasta salad I think my guest sent me this recipe or we found it on Pinterest but it looks really good I had a bite and it's actually incredible it's a food that's great for a dinner party in the summer especially because you can prep it and leave it to be ready overnight and then I'm also gonna prep the watermelon salad she loves like pasta salads like not like leafy salads necessarily but like salads like pasta salads in general and the watermelon one I feel like it's just gonna be like a crowd fave these bowls though are amazing I got them on Amazon. They're in my storefront. I use them so often. I just got them and I've been using them nonstop. So I'm gonna cup the watermelon in here and then leave them both in the fridge overnight. So love this. I've also had my like meal prep. Not like real meal prep, I guess, but just like a, a meal I make. I, it's prep. Okay, whatever. Just separate like cooking in the background. So I'm multitasking. So I have the name cards and here's the thing. Right now, oh, I've switched to pajamas. It's like 4 p.m. on a Saturday. 
But I'm exhausted. I've been standing in that kitchen for like three hours, okay? So I need to be comfortable. With all the floral going on, it's a lot. These are just so small. I could like switch it out. I forgot about the plates even, but whatever. Like I, I bought it, we did it. I definitely could have matched it better, but I didn't. And then we have menus. So I did um, do all the napkins. These are from Amazon. I'll also have them on my Amazon hosting storefront. Love them. And then I'll be able to actually um, like do the utensils and the drinks and the cups and things like that um, later once those arrive. They're arriving from Amazon today. So it's gonna look great. Good morning, y'all. It's Sunday. I think it's like 7.30. I woke up ready to go. So here's the table so far. The rest of the cups and the utensils got here last night, so I'm gonna place them all out. I had Pilates this morning, so I'm gonna wash everything before that and then put it back out, but I'm just gonna place them here to make sure I like it before I wash everything. I just had breakfast, I got back from Pilates, and I have about four, three hours until everyone arrives. So I've got some things to do, and I have to pick up my peaches in an hour. I'm gonna start prepping the chicken. I'm going to then put that in the oven. Okay. I have everything written out to where it like makes the most sense. That's like another huge hosting tip because it's like putting different things in the oven, making it all work, doing it at the same time, whatever, to where it's like more like effective and you're not all over the place, even though like clearly right now I am all over the place. Uh, I'm just getting everything out that I'm gonna need. Oh! Guys, when I'm like, yeah, like not all over the place. Oh. Getting everything out. To me, correct. I'll probably start with the chicken and then go from there. I also need to cut up all the strawberries to um, so then have them sit in the fridge so that they're like in sugar for strawberry shortcake. We have a lot going on. I need to organize my fridge. I don't even know where this stuff is. Okay, so I just chopped off stuff for the watermelon salad and I made a little dressing. I really don't love making dressings, but maybe it's just because I avoid doing it. Uh, I'm gonna use these. These are not soft. Alright guys, 
guys, uh, it is 1 p.m. I'm running out of the house right now because I just need to pick up my order of peaches. You guys saw my TikTok. I've been having a lot of drama at the farmer's market. The farmer's market opens at 8 and it closes at noon. I normally get there at like 9, right? Peaches right now are sold out by 8.05 because there are these people who get there and they line up at 7 a.m. And honestly, like I would be the person to do that, but then I realized I could just go to the peach truck. So anyways, I placed an order on the peach truck. I'm pretty sure this is actually where my parents get their peaches like delivered throughout the year. So anyways, it's my first time. I have an order waiting and I am cooking with them today. So that's why I had to get them right now. And there's only like a certain window. I don't know, fun, random stuff that I like really focus it on, you know? So I'll keep you guys posted on my peaches journey. All right, I got the peaches. Love that. Another thing I love about like farmer's markets or peach trucks, things like that, is that I'm surrounded by women who are typically in their like 50s or 60s and they're just so talkative, especially because I'm in Texas. So they're like, what do you make with your peaches? And we were exchanging recipes and it was a really great 10 minutes I spent there. My other set of utensils should be arriving like by, within 30 minutes of the guests arriving. So I'm hoping that comes. I just cut up all my fruit for strawberry shortcakes and I put some sugar on them. I'm gonna put them in the fridge. I'm like completely out of my fridge, so gotta figure that out. I'm gonna chop up the peaches to be ready and then cut up my baguettes to have prepped. This is probably the last thing I'm gonna make. And then at some point I do need to put some mascara on and get dressed. And then also kind of just clean up, do the last bit of things, move some stuff around, throw away trash. <sighs> We're getting there. I, I need to grab wine too. I'm gonna pick out some wine. Okay, Mike is coming to see the big grand reveal of the final table. Go see your table. Oh my gosh. Oh. Doesn't it look so cute? Yay. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh. These just aren't cooking and that oh, wasn't on. on. You didn't think to like turn it on? That, that didn't like cross your mind. Oh wow. This one's really messy. So for the first time in my entire life, I actually got the time wrong and was late. We said it started at two and not three. My The invite said two, my grandma and I said three, I just totally forgot. So everyone started to arrive and I was like, oh no. So I got ready very quickly and then they just helped me finish like the very last of it. So we have the Ina Garden chicken, we have our peach ricotta like crostinis, they were so Here, like, good. It Everything ended no, up no, being no. incredible. And then we just had the best time. It was stunning, it was perfect. This is why I love like being extra about stuff like this because it's just a great memory. Like why just like have a mediocre lunch when you could have this, you know what I mean? We have finished. I am the most like timely person in the world. So I do not know how I got the times mixed up to my own party that I was throwing. Not my own party, but that I was throwing. Anyways, everyone loved everything that I made. So I will link all the recipes that I use below. And then I'm also gonna make some TikToks and stuff. It's just easier for you guys to find stuff there. We had the best time. I hope my grandma had a great birthday. I've already been doing the dishes and cleaning up because, you know, Monday, tomorrow, gotta get it going. But I just had the best time. I love doing stuff like this. I'm like always looking for reasons to host. 
And now that I have all my hosting collection and my hosting closet, it's even better. So anyways, I love you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you want more like hosting vlogs or things like this, let me know. Love y'all and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Move home. I always say that, like you can always move home. Just start figuring out all the things you don't want to do. But the only way you're going to figure out what you want to do is by doing a million things that you don't want to do. Try yoga. I hate it. Okay. Yeah. I really hate it. I know it's good for me, but I really hate it. Sam, I like, know, can think and, too much. I mean, there are just so many things like that, by the way, that I, you're always doing stuff. I'm like, yeah, you're so good about, you know, getting out. And but I only do the things that I like to do. Right. Yeah. But